as we begin our lesson for this day, let us invoke the presence of the Lord as we say in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Most blessed Lord, send the grace of your Holy Spirit on me to strengthen me that I may learn well the subject I am about to study and by it become a better person for your glory, the comfort of my family, and for the benefit of your church and the world. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we proceed, may we have first our physical exercise and we call it as IMAT exercise. So everybody stand up and follow the given step. I hope that you feel energized by this time you have uh, this picture analysis indicated in your learning guide with uh, the guide question you take a look on the picture and describe what you see on this given image reflect on this following guide question what will happen if one of them will not do his job and what will happen when there are some people that are working together and how does the rate of each worker affect the entire work and lastly how will you model the rate related to this problem in connection to situational analysis that you have that is related to problems on rational algebraic expressions so for now we will deal on some problems that is related to rational algebraic expressions so you need to recall on the operations on rational algebraic expressions and also on how to simplify irrational algebraic expressions for this week goal we have to solve problems involving rational algebraic expressions. So there are success steps in solving uh, a rational al algebraic expression depending uh, on the following. On our uh, correct analysis of the problem and also on the proper labeling of the variables that we will build on and also accurate statement of the mathematical uh, sentence and uh, letter D we have systematic derivation of the truth set and we have also the last one the proper transition into the solution set in order for us to get the correct answer There are also steps that may help us in solving word problems systematically. We have A for stands for uh, analyze the problem. So you should read the problem carefully to identify uh, what is being asked and what are the given facts. And we have uh, R stands for represent the unknown using a variable and for translate or write an equation and afterwards as to solve the equation or state your final answer so we have this acronym ARTS or ARTS for short so we need to follow these steps in order for us to solve the word problems systematically Let's examine this problem on your textbook, page 47, on the written math problem B. Solve the following problems on the application of multiplication and division on rational algebraic expression. 
we have this the area of a rectangle is expressed as x squared minus 3x plus 2 all over 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 determine its length if its width is x squared minus x minus 2 all over 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 so for this the uh, problem is all about area so given the area we will find the length if it is with s given you know, in determining this one we have uh, area is equal to length times width but in this given problem the given is area we have also the width so we can up Apply now the operation on the division of rational algebraic expression and the solution goes this way. We all know that area is equal to length multiplied to width. So we just, in order for us to get the length of its length, we just divide both side by W so that we can cancel. So therefore, A divided by W, that is the measurement of the length. So this one, we have the measurement of the, the area given and the measurement of the width given. So we just divide this one in dividing rational algebraic expression first is to get the reciprocal of the divisor. So we need to get the Reciprocal of this, we have x squared minus 3x plus 2 all over 2x squared minus 7x plus 3. Reciprocal of that, the denominator part will move or will go to the numerator part and the numerator part will go to the denominator part. That's how we do the reciprocal of the given expression 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 all over x squared minus x minus 2 then afterwards next step is you need to interchange this operation into multiplication so we have now this so in order for us to solve it easily we need to factor each each expression so if it is factorable then it is better for us to cancel out and it is easy for us to simplify the final answer so for this one we have x squared minus 3x plus 2 actually we can factor this one it gives us 7 minus 2 and x minus 1 so we need to double check x x multiplied to x that is x squared and then x multiplied to negative 1, that is negative x plus negative 2 multiplied to x, that is negative 2x. So negative 2x plus negative x, that is 3x, then negative 2 multiplied to negative 1, that is positive 2. So that is the factor of the numerator of the given first rational algebraic expression. So how about this one? 2x squared minus 7x plus 3. So we have the factor of this one is x minus 3, 2x minus 1. So counter check again, x multiplied to 2x, that is 2x squared. Negative 3 multiplied to 2x, that is negative 6 plus negative 1 multiplied to x, that is negative 7x. And 3 multiplied to 1 or negative 3 multiplied to negative 1, that is positive 3. Multiply to Again, let's get again or let's examine if it is factorable. 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. This is factorable. So the factor of this one is 2x minus 1. We have also x plus 2. So you need to recall on how to factor each expression. So we need to counter check 2x multiplied to x. That is 2x squared. And then 2x multiplied to that is 4x then neg plus negative 1 multiplied to x that is negative x so 4x plus negative x that it gives us 3x negative 1 multiplied to 2 that is negative 2 so that is the factor we have also x squared minus x minus 2 so the factor of this is x minus 2 x plus 1 
So, x multiply to x, that is x square, negative 2x plus negative plus x rather, that is negative x, then negative 2 multiply to 1, that is negative 2. So, since the given expression is already uh, in the form of the factor form, then we can uh, do the cancellation since it is in multiplication form. Since we have 2x minus 1 right here, we have also 2x minus 1 here. We have also x minus 2 and x minus 2. And uh, is there any other to cancel x plus 2? We don't have here. And also x plus 1, that is x minus 1. So we just multiply or that is just simply as x minus 1 multiplied to x plus 2 all over. So the uh, only expression here is x minus 3. The remaining in this one is we have x plus 1. So the final answer for this given problem is the measurement of the, uh, the length is x minus 1 multiplied to x plus 2 all over x minus 3 multiplied to x plus 1. So this is the measurement of the length now of the given problem. Another problem is on finding its volume. So we have the following dimension of a given rectangular box that are 2x squared minus 7xy plus 3y squared all over x squared minus 4y squared. And we have also 2x plus 4y all over 6x minus 3y and x squared minus xy minus 2y squared all over x squared minus 4xy plus 4y squared. So we are going to find the volume of these following dimensions. Anyway, in finding a volume, we just multiply each rational expressions that is given. So each dimensions multiply to one another. So basically, this is an application on the multiplication of a rational algebraic expression. So let's compute this problem. Again, these are the following uh, dimensions, so we just multiply the following given rational expressions or dimension. So it is also okay if you want the uh, long method wherein you multiply the numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator, but in fact, there is the simplest way on how to attack this problem. So we need to factor each expression so that it would be easier for us to simplify or find the simplest form or simplest answer. So we need to go over first on the first expression. We have this one. So we need to factor first 2x squared minus 7xy plus 3y squared. Is this factorable? Yes. The factor of that is we have x minus 3y multiplied to 2x minus y. So double check again. 2x multiplied to x, that is 2x squared. Negative 3y multiplied to 2x, that is negative 6xy plus negative xy, that is 7xy. Then negative 3y multiplied to negative y, that is positive 3y squared. How about this one? x squared minus 4y squared. This is an example of a perfect square. So we have the uh, factor of this is x minus 2y, then x plus 2y. Because the square root of x squared that is x and the square root of 4y squared that is 2y. So the other one is positive and the other one is negative. So x multiplied to x that is x squared negative 2y x or 2xy plus 2xy that is 0 and then negative 2y multiplied to 2y that is negative 4y. So that is the factor. So we have the other one 2x plus 4y. There is a common factor 2 and 4 that is 2 and then it gives us x 
plus 2y. Also, the denominator, the common factor is 3. So, 3. So, 6x divided by 3, it gives us 2x. Negative 3y divided by 3, that is minus y. So, counter check. 3 multiplied to 2x, that is 6x. 3 multiplied to y, negative y, that is negative 3y. The other one, we have x squared minus xy minus 2y squared. So, the factor of this one is x minus 2y, x plus y. Counter check. x multiplied to x, that is x squared. Negative 2y, 2xy plus xy, it gives us negative xy. Negative 2y multiplied 2y, that is negative 2y squared. And we have also the factor of x squared minus 4x plus 4y squared is x minus 2y x minus 2y so double check again x multiplied to x that is x square negative 2xy plus negative 2xy it gives us negative 4xy then negative 2y multiplied to negative 2y that is 4y square and then afterwards we do the cancellation there is 2xy 2x minus y in this one so we can now cancel 2xy 2x minus y rather we have also x plus 2y here. We have also x plus 2y there. And also x minus 2y and x minus 2y. We have now the remaining terms in each expression. We have uh, x minus 3y. So we have x minus 3y, sorry. So remaining is x minus 3y. We have also 2 so we need to write that one in the first first term because that is just a whole number and uh, we have also remaining here we have x plus y so x plus y all over we have numerical values which is 3 and the other term we have x minus 2y and we have also remaining x minus 2y here so that is the uh, volume of uh, the given rectangular box with the following dimensions given. Let's have more some examples regarding on rational algebraic expression. So we have this number 31 on your textbook that is page 57 in physics the work done on a certain object is equal to the change in the kinetic energy exerted by an exerted force in symbols we have this formula so calculate the work done by a force on a body if the initial kinetic energy is 6g minus 2 all over g squared plus 2d minus 3 and the final kinetic energy is 2 all over g minus 1. So this is an example of a uh, subtraction problem on rational algebraic expression. So let's solve this problem. Supposed to be we have this given problem. Now we will going to find the least common denominator of this given expression since this is the similar rational algebraic expression. We can actually factor the denominator for us to easily identify the least common denominator of this given expressions. So we have the factor of this one is g minus 1 g plus 3. So if you want to counter check g multiply to g that is g squared and then 3g plus negative g that is 2g and then negative 1 multiplied to 3 that is negative 3. So therefore the least common denominator of this expression we have is g minus 1 g plus 3. Then afterwards same as through with the process of fractions we just divide it to the least common denominator to the denominator of each expression and afterwards we need to multiply that on the numerator part of each expression so g minus 1 divided by uh, g minus 1 multiplied to g plus 3 divided by g minus 1 cancel cancel so the only uh, 
expression remain as g plus 3. But we need that to multiply it by 2 since the numerator is 2. Then afterwards, minus the operation used. And we have this g minus 1, uh, g plus 3 divided by this expression that is 1 multiplied to 6g minus 2. And then afterwards, expand. 2 multiplied to g, that is 2g. 2 multiplied to 3, that is 6. Negative multiplied to 6g, that is negative 6g. Negative multiplied to negative 2, that is positive 2. And then copy the denominator, which is g minus 1, g plus 3. We can now combine like terms. So the following like terms in the given expression we have is 2g plus 6g or negative 6g gives us negative 4g then 6 plus 2 that is 8 all over g minus 1 g plus 3 but we can factor out the uh, numerator that is the common factor is 4 so since this is divisible by 4 so the remaining now is we have negative 4 divided by uh, Negative 4, G divided by negative 4, that is G. Then, negative 4 divided by 8, that is negative 2. All over the denominator, which is G minus 1, G plus 3. So, the final answer in the given is negative 4 multiplied to G minus 2 all over G minus 1 multiplied to G plus 3. So, that is the... Uh, Work done by force on a body if there is an initial kinetic energy that is 6g minus 2 all over g squared plus 2g minus 3. For your practice, you solve the following problems given in your learning guide and you will have your performance test too. That is entitled as Problem Construction with Solution on Rational Algebraic Expression with this direction. So you will going to create your own one problem that involves Rational Algebraic Expression. After constructing your own problem, you'll gonna solve it and kindly show your solution also on the problem. And uh, you may also refer on the rubric attached on the last page as your guideline in doing so. So we have the deadline that is until October 10. You just upload it on the BlessMo portal for submission of this activity. For teacher's message, many students are discouraged when they do problem solving. They feel inadequate to understand the problem and solve it. More often, it is not your lack of ability but your faint-heartedness that stops you from accomplishing your goals. Determination means having the courage to accomplish one's goals regardless of the difficulties. Problem solving is simplify an application of the concepts that one has learned. Do you think it is better to avoid problems whenever one can or to face them head on? Or values integration uh, so we have this understanding accuracy and neatness are the major ingredients in problem solving so how would you relate yourself in each this skills may I also remind uh, that on week 7 that is a completion period that is between October 11 to 15 and you should submit all the outputs assigned in the summative task column for the week intended for quarter one. You may also refer on the summary of assessment, learning tasks, or results given during the first week of the quarter. And for week eight, that is October 18 to 22, you have your quiz on rational algebraic expression together its application. And that's it for this week. May we have now the closing. And the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, we praise you with our lips and with our lives and hearts. 
Our very existence is a gift from you. To you we offer all that we have and are. We ask this through Christ our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son.